filtering. This is some good stuff here. So there's a function within Power Apps called a filter and you pass in to it a data source. In this case, let's click on the gallery here and we'll see it's contacts. If I click on data source, it just says contacts here. So it says an item is property the gallery for, which is what I'm currently am. So whenever you're working with a data source and a, you're looking for items, see that it says items here. It's the same thing as data source. If you click on it, you don't see item here. It's, it's called data source over here. So those things can be used interchangeably. That might be a little confusing, but that's what's going on. So what it's telling us to do is use the filter function. Okay. So there are two parameters to use filter. So we'll type in filter, use an open parenthesis. So that's, that's the first parameter, the data source. The second parameter is the criteria that will actually filter the result set. If you have a, a data source with rows in it, if you filter it, you're going to get a subset of rows within the full listing of those rows. As it's telling us to do, we name off country. Now that is a column within the Excel spreadsheet or if this was a database table, this would be a field within the database table. And we're going to say where that column or field equals Canada. Okay, there we go. And you see we have a subset. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.